Margaret liked taking pictures. Margaret always liked taking pictures. She believed that a picture can make anything beautiful. She brought her camera everywhere even if she was doing simple tasks like going grocery shopping. Margaret especially liked taking pictures of her friends when they didn't expect it. She liked capturing people's natural reactions. Some of Margaret's friends didn't like it when she did this though. Margaret had a website where she put samples of her photography. There were some pictures of people, some pictures of views, and some pictures of food. She decided to offer her skills for money. People could fill out a form on her website requesting her to take pictures of them. Her rate was $30 per hour. She wasn't getting that many requests. It made her feel like her work wasn't good. Her friend suggested advertising her website on social media. Once she did that, more requests came in. Day after day, people would request Margaret to take their pictures. In June, there were over 50 requests because people wanted graduation pictures. Margaret had to stop taking requests though because she was too busy. Margaret made a lot of money from taking pictures. She used the money to buy a new camera. An artist's dream. James was always good at painting and drawing. He could paint faces and buildings accurately. He could come up with original artwork, too. He also does abstract art. Abstract art is art that uses shapes, colors, forms, and textures, but does not represent real objects. For example, a red circle painted on a black background is abstract art. However, James knew that art was not the most stable career. James was at community college. His parents wanted him to get an associate degree. James hated community college though. He didn't care about math, science, or English. He just wanted to draw. After one semester, he decided to drop out. His parents were furious. How are you going to make a living? His dad asked. By doing what I am good at, James said. The very next day, James enrolled at his local art college. His dream was to eventually become a book illustrator. James did very well at his art college. He won a lot of art competitions. After he graduated, however, James had trouble finding a job as a book illustrator. There were not that many positions available. After three months of not working, James decided to apply to different jobs. He applied to graphic design positions and had better luck there. It paid pretty well, too. He did not want to give up on his dream of becoming a book illustrator, but he was glad he was making money. His parents apologized for not believing in him earlier. Mark's New Year Resolution This year is going to be different. This is what Mark told himself every year. Every year he made the same resolution. He always said that he would start exercising more and eating less. Every year he failed to keep his resolution. However, this year Mark knew it was going to be different because he decided to make changes to his resolution. He learned that he should be more specific in his goal. This way he can be more focused and know exactly where to begin. Losing weight, and exercising more, were extremely general. Without a guided path, Mark was less likely to reach his resolution. This year he decided to write down that he would run at least one mile every day. It was a realistic goal for Mark. He also said that he would eat at least five fruits a week. This was also realistic since Mark used to eat two fruits per week at most. As the weeks went on, 
Mark found it easier to keep his resolution. Since he knew what he had to do, it was much easier. In the past he would exercise once in a while, and eat a diet only sometimes. He did not have a plan on what he was going to do. Now he did so well that he increased his goal. He decided to do two miles per day and eat seven fruits per week. He felt great about the change he was making, he felt happier and healthier. He also thought about other things he could do to improve his health. This resolution, and also drink more water. Not to give any spoilers. Everyone at Jefferson High School was reading How to Save a Life, which was a book about a student's journey in medical school. The book got really popular around the United States. It will become a movie sometime in 2021. Some students were ahead of others in the book. Some students were already done with the book. Laura was halfway through with the book. She really liked it and could hardly put it down. She just finished the chapter where the main character falls in love with a patient who is dying of cancer. Laura's friends already finished the book, so she told them not to give any spoilers. Spoilers are parts of the story that reveal important details before a person gets to that part of the story. Spoilers ruin the fun of not knowing. It's like knowing how a movie ends when you are just starting to watch the movie. Laura's friend was about to say something about the book, but Laura stopped her. No spoilers, guys. I want to enjoy this book, she said. Laura was reading the book on the bus. A couple on the bus started talking about the book. Laura started to panic. She put on her headphones and listened to music throughout the entire bus ride. Laura continued reading the book when she got home. Her mom came into her room. That is such a good book. I'm so glad you're reading it. Have you got to the part when the main character is told she also has cancer? Her mom said. Mom. I'm only halfway. Laura exclaimed. Her mom apologized. Laura put the book back in her bookshelf and never touched it again. Running a marathon. Philip is going to run a marathon, which is about 26 miles. Philip has always been good and fast at running. He knows how to keep a good pace. He is always the fastest one on his track team. In fact, many of his teammates are sure that he is going to run track in college. Philip decided to run a marathon to raise money for charity. The charity was for breast cancer. Philip's mom died of breast cancer, so the cause was important to him. Philip practiced running prior to the marathon. He started off by running 8 miles, then 12, then 20, and finally, 26. He had practiced for three months. On the day of the marathon, Philip felt ready. He wore a comfortable tank top and running shorts. He also wore his lucky red socks. Philip went to the marathon. He stood at the starting line and wished the other participants good luck. Philip started running. He felt really good about himself. Running was like a roller coaster, which was full of ups and downs. The beginning was always really good because he was highly motivated. The middle was harder because he got more tired. During the middle of the marathon, he smelled something bad. He wondered who it came from. He noticed that people who were running past him really quickly. He smelled his armpits. It was him. He had forgot to put deodorant on.